Fighter 5 Championship Edition is heading to the Nintendo Switch. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're gonna be talking about this EB Games Canada tweet because to me it's just like, what? EB Games Canada just randomly tweeted out about an hour ago from this recording that Street Fighter V Championship Edition is heading to the Nintendo Switch. Now this is big and kind of weird at the same time because there hasn't been a press release sent out from what I know by Capcom. There hasn't been a tweet or a you know confirmation from the Street Fighter Twitter, the Street Fighter V Twitter, or the Capcom Twitter, which is to me is like, wait, wait, what's going on? It's a random Saturday night and they just putting this tweet together and making it go live. Now again, the tweet is still live with these screenshots and I'm like, Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? And I, I can't believe that this is actually a thing. One, because of Street Fighter V being a PS5 exclusive game. Granted, it did make its way to the PC and you can get it now on PC and it has tons of mods and it's amazing. However, this is a Sony exclusive game making its way to the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty cool. This game isn't on Xbox currently, so I wonder maybe this is the announcement of it moving out of that exclusive window on the PS4 and moving into the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. But again, this is huge because of the fact that, again, this is a PS4 game. I want to see it running on a Nintendo Switch because I want to see how it compares to the PS4 version of the game. Obviously, it's not going to go blow for blow with it, but I do want to see the sacrifices they had to go with and how beautiful or unbeautiful it looks compared to the other versions. We do have games that we can kind of compare it to, like Mortal Kombat 11, which is on both the Nintendo Switch and PS4, and obviously the PS4 version blows it out the water, but I am interested on how Street Fighter V makes that transition. Now, do note that this is going to be the Championship Edition. This is basically the all-in-one Game of the Year Edition, well, Game of the kind of decade edition because this is like literally all the content from street fighter 5 since its initial launch and they had like seasons worth of content season worth of characters and this is basically all of it packaged in one for one particular price i'm also concerned about how the online play is going to work on the Nintendo Switch version. You guys know Nintendo Switch, the online, it's the best. So seeing that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, while well, granted having Street Fighter V on a go on a beautiful screen like the Nintendo Switch with, you know, a pro controller or even the Joy-Cons, it might be fun, yeah. But to actually play it competitively online, depending on how like the net code is and everything, I don't actually see it becoming a thing. But it could be, it could be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about this, and I'm kind of curious if this is actually real because I'm like scratching my head, like, wait, why is a retailer revealing this? Why is a retailer announcing this? This is supposed to be, you know, like a Monday morning big headline news. Nintendo drops a tweet. You know, you have Capcom drop a tweet with a press release and all this, but that none of that has happened. None of that's happened, and it, it kind of gets me hyped to think maybe there's something that was gonna happen next week you know like maybe like a direct that this was gonna be a part of and you know they're supposed to they're supposed to schedule that tweet for the day the direct is gonna happen and they actually drop the ball and make that tweet live when they shouldn't have but it's kind of funny because they have the tweet live and it's still live as i record this the tweet is still live like it's not a mistake so i'm like what? Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of Street Fighter V making its way to the Nintendo Switch. Is this a pickup for you? It's a, to me, it's a head scratcher. I want to see gameplay videos and stuff like that before I actually purchase it on the Nintendo Switch. I have it for the PS4. I don't really need it for the Nintendo Switch, to be honest. Granted, Street Fighter is a staple game. That's a game that like you should always have in your collection for tons of reasons. You know, if you ever want a fighting game, it's definitely one that you definitely want to pull out and you know when people are around or whatever the case may be it's a great game to have and especially with the nintendo switch you definitely want that type of game in your arsenal as well but to me i'm like eh, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like I said, let me know what you think about it coming to Nintendo Switch. Do you think it's true? Do you think we're going to get a direct with this announcement soon? Or do you think Monday morning they're going to roll around and just be like, hey, yeah, it's coming out and just drop the news to us? Let me know in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this every day, discussion videos, talking about the video game industry. So again, if you wanna have this conversation with me, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop one of these videos. Also hit the like button, I said it out of order, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video. Peace, I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. And woo, a donkin. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.